Good morning, brothers and sisters. Blessings and peace to you all in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Yahushua HaMashiach. All glory to the Lord every single day. I pray that you guys are having a great day today. I pray that you guys are are getting your day started right with prayer, uh, getting in your word uh, before you get into work or, you know, even when you're at work, uh, focusing on his word, focusing on his promises through the word and staying true and committed to that no matter what you're going through um, you know you could be struggling you could be uh, doing very well uh, continue to give the Lord praise and continue to uh, pray and ask for him to continue to give you strength no matter what you face um, I love every single one of you guys I'm praying for you all I hope y'all praying for me as well for more wisdom strength and encouragement uh, building me up too through the Holy Spirit hallelujah I wanted to go over a scripture, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Um, <clears throat> this scripture is very, very important to me because um, as far as life application, it goes right now uh, down to what the days that we're living in. Every single day is a war. Every single day is a battle uh, through the spirit. I mean, when you the day that you, the time that you start uh, forgetting that there's a war, the devil's got you. He's got you trapped because he um, it's always some type of a, um, Opposition when you're a believer in Christ, when you're a follower of Christ, and you're doing His will, and you're um, leading people to Christ as well, you're always going to be faced with adversity, spiritual warfare, which manifests through the physical as well. You'll feel the ailments, you'll feel, um, you know, oppression, you'll feel different attacks here and there. Uh, <clears throat> but you got to stand firm. You got to stay strong, no matter what you go through. You must stand firm in Christ and never bow down. Um, you know, never bow down, never give up, never bow out, stay committed, stay faithful to the end. Ephesians six ten through 18, this is the Amplified Bible Classic Edition. And it says, in conclusion, be strong in the Lord, be empowered through your union with him. Draw your strength from him that the strength which is boundless might provides. 11, put on God's whole armor, the armor of heavy armed soldier, which God supplies that you may be successful fully to stand up against all the strategies and deceits of the devil. For we not for we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the dispos of despotisms um, and against the powers, against the master spirits who are the wicked rulers of this present darkness, against the spirit forces of wickedness in heavenly supernatural fear okay 13 therefore put on the co god's complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil day of danger and having done all the christ the crisis demands to stand firmly in your place stand therefore hold your ground having tightened the belt of truth around your loins and having put on the breastplate of integrity in moral uh, restitute in right standing with God and having sh shod your feet with preparation to face the enemy with the firm footed st stability the promptness and the readiness produced by the good news of the gospel of peace lift up over all the covering shield of saving face upon which you can quench all flaming missiles of the wicked one and take up the helmet and the sword of the spear which, which is the word of God Pray at all times, on every occasion, in every season, in the spirit, with all manner of prayer, and treaty to the end. Keep alert, which will be strong purpose, perseverance, interceding in the path of all saints as well. God's consecrated or set, set apart people. So uh, we have to pray for our, our brothers and sisters in Christ who, but most importantly, we have to keep this, the, the helmet of salvation, sword of the spirit, which is the the word of God, the sword, that is, that is our sword. That is our weapon. That's how we defeat the enemy. We're not conquering him, but we're being able to withstand uh, whatever he's, 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 um, whatever arrows he throws at him. We have the, the power of God through the word of God, through our testimony, through the faith, through the belt of truth, through um, staying firm in your faith not giving way to the enemy not letting him penetrate you through your mind because the war is in your brain it's in your mind he comes to your mind he attacks you thoughts um images um words 
different types of things, even um, things that rise up out of your flesh as well. So you have to crucify your flesh. You have to deny your flesh. You have to stay obedient to the gospel, obedient to God's word, because that's what protects you. The word of God protects your mind and leads you to truth. When you're not focusing on the word, when you're focused, when your brain is idle and you're just sitting there um, complacent, just your your thoughts are going here and there. That's why when you watch social media and you see YouTube and you see videos, they the, there's messages in those videos that subconsciously uh, put things into your mind that would never normally be there. Remember, the enemy works. He's the he's the prince of the air, right? So he has a command of the airways and what goes out, what comes in. He manipulates things, schemes and 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 devices. He uses different types of uh, maneuvers and tricks and tactics, especially against the body of Christ, because the people that he already has in the world, he doesn't have to do much for them. They're already led according to the ways of the world. That's why people who are who don't have the Holy Spirit, who don't believe in Christ, what we preach to them is is nonsense, is foolishness. They don't understand because they they are consumed with the enemy's um, plots and schemes in his in his 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 um, manipulation. They're deceived. They're, 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 their minds are not focused on anything in the spirit, but of the flesh. Everything that they, they do is gratified for the flesh. That's why when you say people are living in sin, that means that they're continually, continually doing things that 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 live according to the flesh, according to the world. People who do struggle, when you say people who struggle, people who struggle, that means that they may start taking their focus off of God. When you start taking your focus off his word, when you start taking off your focus on prayer, off prayer, when you stop uh, taking your, your your focus off being led by the Holy Spirit, then you will fall. That's when you make mistakes. That's when you 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 fall out of the will of God, out of the, leave His presence. He doesn't leave you. You leave Him because you go towards what your flesh is. That's why it says dude, there is nothing good in the flesh, but only by the Spirit you can overcome the, the the devices and the schemes of the enemy, the devil. So remember this: if you don't remember anything from this message. Make sure you stay abiding in the spirit, trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ's words, always remembering his problem promises. Keep your mind focused on pure, righteous thoughts, things that are clean, things that are, are good, things that are build you up, noteworthy. You know, Philippians, like in Philippians 4, 8, focus on the good things. Don't focus on, focus on the things of the kingdom. Don't focus of, on things that are, that, that will, that will tease and or please your flesh per se or gratify your flesh or to give you a, a sense of pride or anything like that stay humble stay meek let yourself yourself stay level under the will of god and stay controlled by the holy spirit in all your ways remember that brothers and sisters we're not in a physical war even though we the things are manifested through the, the physical but we must stand guard and be sober and be vigilant at all times and continue to let the Holy Ghost pray, pray in the Holy Ghost, pray, pray in the Spirit, cry out. You have the Holy Ghost. If you're a believer in Christ, you have access. Allow the Holy Spirit to reign into you and, and let the Spirit flow through you, flow through your mouth. And pray and intercede for your brothers and sisters and people around you. You are a vessel of the Most High. You are a vessel of, of God. You are used to glorify His kingdom. Don't be ashamed of that. Stand firm and stand strong to the end, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Ray here. I'm headed out today. And my, this is another, This I have a day off today. Thank goodness. I'm enjoy the day. And then give the Lord a praise every day. Um, and today and, and going on for forever. But I love y'all. Um, y'all be blessed. Uh, Till next time, this is Brother Ray out. Peace.